So here we are going to check whether the given function, specifically this function here, y is equal to e to the power of negative x over 2, is a solution to this given differential equation here. So in order for us to do that, we are going to take the first derivative of this function because our given uh, differential equation here is also or its highest order is also in uh, first order. So, so that we can substitute the um, first order derivative here in our function and apply uh, the rest of the process that we could do to find whether or determine whether the given function is a solution or not. So again, we have here y is equal to e to the power of negative x over 2. The first order derivative, and since we used here y prime, let's just simply also use y prime, is equal to the first order derivative of this but first don't forget that this can be written as y is equal to e to the power of negative one half x so that when we try to take the first order derivative of this of course we're going to um, use the uh, proper derivation for an exponential equation specifically for e so this is actually just negative one half and then e to the power of negative one half of x okay that's that's its uh, first order derivative so with this already in mind we're going to substitute this here so you have here two y uh, first order derivative plus y is equal to zero so you will have here two the point here the goal is to make sure that we can satisfy the equation so you have two times negative one half e to the power of negative one half x plus y is equal to a zero and of course y is already given earlier as our function so you can also so this uh, i mean substitute that at once if you can so you have here your y is e to the power of negative x over 2 equal to zero if we could satisfy this equation then we could say that the given function y is a solution to the given differential equation so of course this is two times negative one half is negative of e to the power of negative one half x plus e to the power of x over two equal to zero. Take note, this here is just the same as this as mentioned earlier. So basically, we can just simply rewrite them as negative e negative one of x plus e negative one of x is equal to zero. We have opposites. So we have zero equal to zero. At this point, we can really say that the given value for y, which is e to the power of negative x over 2, or y is equal to e to the power of negative 1 of x, is a solution to this given differential equation. Thank you very much for watching.